Welcome back to the Crochet Crowders. Those are my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today I'm gonna demonstrate the first stitch which appears in the Llama No Drama. So this is an actual just dedication toward the stitch and it's part of the stitch along but I will be covering it in detail bef next but I'm gonna slow down and show you how this is done. It's actually really not a hard idea and what this is is one of the feet and you can see there is all the fur that's been added to it and let's uh, without further ado let's examine it closely and let's see what our good, we're gonna get ourselves into today. So ultimately this is our goal. So it's actually a one piece unit. So you can see that the stitches are part of it and you can see that there is two layers here that have no stitch. So it's every third stitch has this. So how many in the leg? You see one layer, two, three, and four layers just like you see. So when it's all starting to get all bunchy and stuff you don't really realize that it's actually organized in that way because it looks pretty random but it's currently not. So the trick that I had uh, for this is that you always have to just keep an eye on the count after you finish a fur round to make sure that your next round will stay within the same stitch count so that it stays equal to yourself. Now you'll see on the interior there's no difference of what the stitches look like. It's just on how the first stitch is going to be operating. So let's go back to the di uh, instructions and let me show you some more. So in the instructions you would have seen then on page number 104 this is the repeat pattern for the first stitch. It's round one, two, and three. So together these three rounds make up the first stitch. So in round number one we're going to be doing the fur and round number two we work behind the fur to build it up on the back loop. So this is front loop back loop of the same round and then round number three we advance going in both loops so that we can get ourselves up and growing. So how I write this in a pattern for example in where, when I was doing the leg is that I have in the top of these instructions the legs is that I did the legs and then there was single crochet just for six all the way through 13 and then what I do is I put a little dot underneath it. So I've done three legs at this time so every dot represents when I pass through it and do it. So then it says rounds number 14 through 25. So I looked in advance and I realized that 14, 17, 8, or 20 and 23 are the fur round. So that's when we're adding those chain 10 loops. So it's like fur and then um, then we have the back loop and then regular fur uh, back loop and regular. So there's a trick to actually keeping an eye on the count. That's where I kind of slipped up the most on my first way through and then I realized it's all about the stitch markers in order to keep yourself organized for that. So I have a little example that I'm gonna show you right now. So if this was round number one of the first stitch then all you're just going to do once you get all the way around it's a continuous revolution. Always leave your stitch markers in place so that you know exactly where you've come all the way around. So the very first stitch round for the fur is that you just immediately start in chain 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And as soon as you got that you advance to the next stitch in the front loop only. So if you're new to crochet there's always two loops and if you use the front loop the first one that's the front loop and the other one is the back loop. You're going to be using this back loop in the next round but not this one. So just go in the front loop only and single crochet. Once you get that done you're gonna chain 10 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then next front loop. And you're gonna do that all the way around. So your last stitch to do this which is always kind of confusing but your last stitch is the front loop of where you have the stitch marker. Okay. So what I want you to do is do that all the way around if you wanna do a test trial now or just advance to the video and just see how more of it's done. So I'm gonna go and do this all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming up all the way around. The first mistake that I made when I did the first leg is that see where the stitch marker is. I, I assume because the loop comes out that it's actually the first stitch but it's actually the last and that'll be the last one that you go in for a, a front post or sorry for a front loop single crochet. And before I move any further what I want to do is that I wanna move that stitch marker up to where this one just attached. Okay, it's the last one so that I can keep an eye on the on the rounds. So this will be the last round or one in the round. So now what I need to do is that I just need to turn it over and you can see on the other side here is that there's a ridge and so those are all the back loops and that's where we're gonna play next. So we're just gonna continue then and just move these yarn or the chain 10 loops out of the way and all you're just going to do is that you wanna verify your count. So in this case it was a leg so it's a, um, a count of, of uh, <laughs> I apologize, it's a count of 30 stitches all the way around. So I wanna make sure that there's 30. 
if there's not 30, throw in 30. Okay, so if you're missing one, just throw in an extra one. You'll never see it. And if you got one too many, just then do a two together single crochet. So starting in, this one is out of the, the first one here. So your first one is actually just follow the first loop up like a rainbow. Just follow it over the rainbow. And this here is the back loop. And I would count 30. So just going in the back loop only single crochet. So this is gonna be 2, 3, 28, 29. And remember that green one is the final one. So that's number 30. So this just finished off round number 2. And so before I begin again, just move that stitch marker up to the last one here. And so the third round of these, now you'll notice in the instructions as well, in the third uh, in the third round, if the lemma is changing shape, it's using in the third round and we'll be covering that when we get there. So starting in your very first one, it's in the regular stitches now and it's gonna be 30 all the way back to this point. So I would count again. So, and just to make sure it stays right. So two, three, 29, and 30 takes me to the last one and then I'm gonna move the stitch marker up. So if you're continuing along with the first stitch then, then you're gonna build your next layer up. So do you remember what to do? Immediately just start and chain 10 and then the very next one single crochet in the front loop and then chain 10 single crochet in the front loop. And so you can see this is what happens. It looks really random on the interior. It looks no different and this is how you would do the first stitch. So hopefully you understand and we'll see you on the Llama Stitch Along as we continue this journey together. Have a good one. We hope to see you again real soon.